Hey guys, welcome to Being Civil. In the previous video, we have discussed the Axis system in StatPro. In this video, we are going to apply loads on the members in our structure. This is the list of the load items we are going to apply in this video. Number one is a cell point. So first of all, you have to create a load case. So go to the general tab and load and definition. Click the load case details and click on add. You can give the load case number, load case type from here and the load case title and click on add. You see the load case one is successfully added. You can now add the load items under this load case one. So click the load case one and then click add. The number one is self weight. Self weight is always to the negative y direction. By default, this factor is minus one negative y. But if you want to increase the self weight by 10%, 20% of your choice, you can give this factor minus 1.1 like that and click on add. Now the self weight y minus 1.1 is successfully added. Select this self weight and as self weight is applied all over the structure, so select assign to view and click on assign. Yes. Now coming to the second, which is nodal load. You see, the in the first node there is a uh, two kilonewton to the negative y direction, and in the second node two kilonewton negative y and three kilonewton in the positive x direction. You can always see this axis system from this window. So negative f y minus two add, and for the second node, f x is three kilonewton add. So these two loads are added. Select this first load and select the first node here and click assign to selected node, assign yes. The load is successfully added. You may not see, I have to change the scale. So symbols and levels go to scales, click on apply immediately and this point force change this. So you can now see. Now for the second load, So you see the load is successfully applied. Now the third which is member load. So the UDL uniformly distributed load you see this is one kilonewton per meter throughout the length of this beam. So select load case on add go to the member load and uniform force. You see you can give here minus one GY the D1, D2, D3 if you give it zero then it will be added throughout the length of the beam. So I'm not editing this, click on add, uh, select this load, then select the beam by the beam cursor, assign to selected beams, assign yes. You see the load is successfully applied throughout the length of this beam. The second case is the load is starting at 1 and going to the length of 3 meter. So in that case, you have to keep member load in uniform force minus 1, the D1, D1 is one d2 is one plus three from this start point to the end point the length is four four d3 which is zero because d3 is nothing but the, it is applied centrally or not that distance as the uh, force is applied centrally the d3 will be zero click on add now coming to the concentrated force So minus 5 kilonewton to the midpoint of the beam. So if you give it minus 5 and keep this D1 and D2 0, it will be always applied to the middle point. Click on add. You see it is applied at the midpoint. You can see the value of this force by pressing shift V. If the load is applied at a 2 meter distance from the start point, then you have to change double click on this load and change the D, D1 value. D1 is 2. two change you see now coming to this concentrated moment you see it is a two kilonewton meter moment at the center of this beam and about which axis you see this is the Z axis coming from uh, from the screen so the about axis is Z and it is a clockwise moment so it will be minus two kilonewton meter about the GZ so click on member load concentrated moment select the GZ and minus 2 click on add select the beam assign to select okay you have to change the scale of this moment if you change the distance of the moment like that it is a two meter away from the start point so double click on this and put the d1 value and click change you see the moment position has been changed now coming to this linear varying 
it is two type of linear planning one is from start point it is a value and this last point there is value and it is a triangular li linear planning which is highest at the midpoint so w1 say this is minus 1 w2 value was 2 so minus 2 you see now if you want to change this to triangular one double click on this linear varying load and change this to w3 so the highest value is minus 2 click on change you see the loads has been changed now and the last one is trapezoidal you see the trapezoidal load starts from at the distance 1 and for the 3 meter length and start load is minus 1 and the end load is minus 2 this w1 is minus 1 w2 will be minus 2 d1 will be 1 and d2 will be 4 goy click on add so these are the basic load types which is generally applied to a structure hope you like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends see you in the next video